they were talking about putting two, giving uh, fat people two seats at the, um, at the, on airplanes, right? Mm -hmm. And so here I am saying, at the end of the day, you know how they're going to, you know who's going to, uh, who they have to consult about these policies? Fat person? No. Oh. Public health people, like me. Mm -hmm. Not doctors, not clinicians, because when we're talking about policy, we're talking about people who do public health. So the first thing, of course, they're going to say, one guy said, um, what did he say? Well, you know, everybody should be comfortable. So um, if somebody needs more room, I don't want to sit next to them, but they need more room and they ought to get uh, two tickets for the price of one. And then the other guy said, it costs more fuel to fly fat people. Mm -hmm. And, and and so here, and then the woman asked them a question, and they didn't really talk about it, but at some point, they will have to define obese, mm -hmm. right? So can you imagine, there is a definition of obese that includes most people who go through the McDonald's drive through mm -hmm. Now, imagine all those people flying, and, and what they're going to do, they're going to have a... You can't check somebody's body mass index there at the, uh, right. or you're gonna have a scale. You're um, gonna have a scale as you're boarding, right? Or you gotta enter the scale, uh, enter your weight as you buy a ticket. What? So this is the first thing, but the fact is, most people in America are obese. Yeah, that's true. And the second thing is, most people who fly cattle class are uncomfortable. The seats have shrunk and shrunk and shrunk, and they talk about well, you, you know. And people have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, and the meals have gotten smaller. And I told you yesterday I was at the airport, they're going to charge $15 for a bag of luggage, anywhere domestic. Uh -huh. And I said to them, that's y'all's jobs at stake. Because what are you going to do? I think it's either it's December or January that uh, international carriers can fly domestically. Can They can, or, they can have, um, they can, or, um, originate in a domestic airport and fly to another domestic location as opposed to just flying in and out. You know what that means? I got one word for them. Lufthansa. What? They don't They don't put up with this mess. Because the German government has a great stake in Lufthansa, they're one of the few profitable airlines in the world. And they're about to be able to fly domestically. Mm -hmm. some, in some so markets... They don't have to Step it up. In some, yeah, and you want to talk about you want to talk about some competition. Some supplier, you know, so you talk about this thing about supply and demand. Their tickets in some markets are a little bit higher, but you you know what? If they're ever late, just like I'm like I'm, I had to come back here tonight. Mm -hmm. They would have offered me how much money for um, in compensation? Swiss Airlines, they, they you gonna be late? Okay, here's a toiletry bag. Or here's, you know, 75 Swiss francs uh, allowance. You know how much 75 Swiss francs is for you to buy toiletries just to stay overnight in the city where you are? Because they, mm. let's just say it's a lot more than $75. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, well. um, it's, it's, it's about, it's one, you know, 1.11. So, yeah, but this is what I'm talking about. And I told you, when I got bumped off in Chicago trying to fly out, this girl going to look at me like, the flight leaves 9 o'clock tomorrow, so you have to wait 24 hours. And that's no, it. no compensation in the Windy City. Nothing. And she's still going to look at me like, sir, sir, sir. And I'm telling her, you know, coming out of, coming out of you know, flying more in Europe, and oh, it's just, it's ridiculous. And, in, and also in Asia. It's not just Europe. It's this market that is so degraded, and it's because it's, it's privatized. No public stake in it. And that's how they can start talking about well, what's the definition of an obese person? I don't want to sit next to anybody. You know what? And they, they get scared of socialism. I actually flew cattle class. I'm talking about real cattle class. Mm -hmm. I flew, um, what's, it, what's that, the, the Russian airline? Um, what is the Russian airline? Anyhow, I'll think of it because I can see those big heifers now. And they just, it's like a plane, it's like a hallway. It's like a big bus in the sky. Mm -hmm. I was I have never felt so bumped around and scooted around, but it but then I cooled down because I once I noticed that everybody on there was under twenty five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like I'm on the wrong bus, <laughs> mm -hmm. so they were acting under twenty five, and it's great that they have you know under twenty five um, air services, but 
that's a socialized service. And that doesn't have to, but Lufthansa is something very different. Lufthansa is public stakes. You know what I mean? And what goes on. And it's very different from what they're talking about. Well, I think it, it, it needs to take all this selfishness and, you know, it needs to take all that out at the same time. People got to get serious about their health. Yeah, absolutely. And a lady with a child that's, you know, this lady was on TV. This kid had this weight problem. It's not like how, you know, like my weight problem all my life. It, it, these kids were big, bigger than, you know, a, a child 100 pounds overweight. You know, that's serious. That is serious. And we have to... Can, mm. I've seen true little butter bottles as wide as they are tall. We have got to... I don't know. that It's like the people don't have to take their children to... These little kids can't go to McDonald's on their own. McDonald's <laughs> is like a convenient place for these people. Yeah. You know, I want some dinner, so I'm going to take him to McDonald's and he starts hauling for fries. I'm going to give him fries. Yeah, they're, they're quickly addicted, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That's perhaps their first addiction. Yeah. And it's Saturated like, fats. What's so scary is. And salt. Like, they're unhappy. They suffer all the things that an obese child go through all the mm. school, you know. I just, it's not the norm, but I just fear that it's going, it's, uh, you know, dysfunction of people and all that stuff mm. is going to be the norm. Mm. Well, it seems like it's already the norm. Mm. Not that you're supposed to treat them poorly, mm -hmm. but uh, you have to have enough compassion for them to, you know, make special efforts like Special Olympics mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's not the public's fault that they're like that. But it's the public's responsibility because we have to live in, you know, it could mm -hmm. be just a mm -hmm. selfish thing like yeah. Yeah. Ra yeah, yeah, yeah. raising hoodlums. One day we're going to be singing citizens under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Can you think about that? That's some serious mess. Yeah. If you think meth labs and meth crimes are an issue now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait for them cold ones grow up. <laughs> Yeah, we got an example of one yeah, cocaine okay. user for president. Yeah. He just looks at, you know, 